why do we see paradoxal chest motion in a flail segment type of injury? Well, let me show you. So when it comes to a flail segment, what it essentially is, is going to be a break of two or more ribs. So if this is a fracture here, this is a fracture here, and then this is a fracture, and then that's a fracture, okay? So we have two separate fractures in each bone like so. Now what occurs is because we know that when we inhale, okay, our lungs will, or our rib cage expands, and we need all these ribs intact in order for that to occur. So when our ribs in expand, when we inhale, ultimately what happens is because these areas are no longer connected to anything. So they actually will press in. They won't expand with the chest. So it actually looks like they have a little bit of a divot. And then when they relax, those muscle, because those bony segments are no longer together, they're flailing, that they actually will stick out. And so they are what we called paradoxal, where they're moving against the normal rhythm of the chest, where they sink in during inspiration and protrude out during expiration. That's what gives them their flail segment look and why we get paradoxal chest motion.